a civil rights lawyer by training, but my career has taken many different paths. Uh, I've also taught at universities, and I've been in the government, I've been an ambassador, I've been a human rights investigator in the field, and I've been a, a negotiator in major diplomatic events, and then ending up with all roads pointing to Budapest and being the president of CEU, which really brings together all of the various parts of my career. The first time it really crystallized that there was something going on in the world that involved human rights and justice was when I was about eight and my father uh, was a lawyer in a small town in upstate New York and one day there were banner headlines that said Esther Decker is a communist. She was the person running for the school board and my father who was a Republican and conservative in many ways, but deeply committed because he'd been a, a war hero in the Second World War. So he had a strong sense of why he had been fighting and what the principles of America were. And he said, this seems like a, a kind of a smear. What's the story here? And this is during the time that Senator McCarthy, Joe McCarthy, really accused almost anybody of being a communist in order to advance his own political causes. My father volunteered to defend this woman. And soon, uh, I found in my own school, kids were saying, did you know your dad is a communist? You're a communist too, maybe? So I asked him, I said, what, what is this all about? He told me about fairness and, and justice. And he said, I'm not a communist and I don't agree with anything that the communists are trying to do. But, but I also think that it's really unfair to accuse someone of being a communist when there's no evidence that she is or was or ever had any involvement. I remember that incident very clearly and it was something that then stuck with me later on. And then of course as I, I was in the 60s as I was growing up, this is the time of the great civil rights movement in America and I was very captivated by that, partly reflecting my own past. And then there was a huge controversy around the Vietnam War and a lot of demonstrations and I became very interested in the defense of people who were exercising their freedom of speech in challenging actions that were being taken by their own government.